Here I've got a nice which is larger problem involving the Knuth arrow notation. So let's recall what that notation is first. So we've got m with a single arrow n is the same thing as m to the nth power. And then m with a double arrow n is equal to this combination of m with single arrows of itself, where we repeat m n total times. And it's important that we have the associativity like this. But now let's notice that we can collapse all of these n minus one m's into an m double up arrow n minus one. So that means that in the end, we have m double up arrow n is the same thing as m to the power of m double up arrow n minus one. So as you could imagine, this number grows very, very, very quickly. And there are like some really popular math videos on YouTube about this notation and its relation to Graham's number, but we're not gonna talk about that really. We're just gonna hone in on this question, which is, is two to the double up arrow 2021 or three double up arrow 2020 larger. So notice here, the 2020 is obviously smaller than the 2021, but the three is larger than two. So what wins out? The largeness of the second number or the largeness of the first number? Okay, so let's explore a little bit. And what we will explore is two double up arrow n plus one versus three double up arrow n for some small values of n to see if we can see a pattern and then maybe prove that pattern, thus coming up with a more general statement than what we're actually going for. Okay, so let's start with n equals one maybe. Okay, so if we've got n equals one, then two double up arrow two, well, that's gonna be the same thing as two up arrow two. Well, that's two to the two, which is four. Okay, well, notice that if you've got a two right here, the double up arrow is the same as the single up arrow. And that's because you're repeating this exactly this many times. So the two gets repeated two times. Okay, but now let's look at three double up arrow one. Well, that notice that's just going to be three repeated one time. So just three. Well, that gives us three. So in this case, the two double up arrow is larger. Well, let's see if that continues on. Let's look at the n equals two case. So that's going to be two double up arrow three versus three double up arrow two. Okay, so this guy right here is gonna be two up arrow, two up arrow, two. But let's recall that that's gonna be the same thing as two to the four, because this guy right here is four, but that is 16. But what is this? This is gonna be equal to three up arrow three by the definition of the double up arrow, but that's gonna be three to the three, which is 27. So let's see, in this case, the three double up arrow two wins, whereas in this case, the two double up arrow two wins. Let's move on to one more case, which is n equals three. And I think this will give us a general idea for what's going on. So two double up arrow four, well, that's gonna be the same thing as two to the power, two double up arrow three from this thing that we saw over here, but notice that that is equal to two to the 16. But now we wanna compare that to the three double up arrow three, which is three to the power of three double up arrow two. Again, from this observation, but that's gonna be equal to three to the 27. But now let's notice that this three to the 27 is clearly larger. The base is larger and the exponent is larger. So except for this first case, it looks like we have the following inequality. We have three double up arrow n is larger than two double up arrow n plus one for n bigger than or equal to two. 
So we can prove this by induction where we've already taken care of the base case with this first calculation. Notice we have to be careful to set n bigger than or equal to two because this did not hold for n equals one. Okay, so let's maybe get rid of this calculation and then we'll prove our claim. So via calculation, it seems like two double up arrow n plus one is less than three double up arrow n for all n bigger than or equal to two. And that'll obviously include our case over here when n is equal to 20, 20, if we can prove this which means we'll have this guy is larger than that guy. But we'll write that down after we have this proof. We're gonna do this proof by induction. We already have the base case from our exploration on the last board. So now we just need to make an induction hypothesis and then use that induction hypothesis to prove that the next case holds as well. So let's maybe go ahead and suppose for some k bigger than or equal to two, we have two double up arrow k plus one is less than three double up arrow k. And then from here, we wanna consider the next case. And so that next case will be two to the double up arrow k plus two. Well, let's notice by our recursive rule over here, we have that's equal to two to the power of two double up arrow k plus one. Okay. But two is less than three, so we can replace the base with three and we'll create an inequality. So that's going to be less than three to the double up arrow k plus one. Okay. And then by our induction hypothesis, we can replace the exponent with this and just carry the inequality in the correct direction. So this is gonna be less than three to the three double up arrow k. But then again, applying our recursive definition, we have this is equal to three to the double up arrow k plus one. So now if we read the extreme left and right hand side of this inequality, we see that we've used our induction hypothesis to prove the next case, which finishes the proof of this claim. But now we're done. We just set n equal to 2020. And that tells us that this three double up arrow 2020 is bigger than this two double up arrow 2021. And that's a good place to stop.